Justice Nyako threatens extension of Nandekano's trial if IPOP doesn't dismiss sit at home order. Um, the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has declared a fresh sit at home order in honor of Nandekano's uh, final verdict. Well, um, they personally know why they are doing what they are doing, but then the IPOP themselves, themselves, that is the real IPOP members, have said that they have no hand in any seat at home declared by any indigenous group. They said that the seat at home has been annulled and abolished by Mazin Namikano. He has given instruction that no IPOP member should obey any seat at home. You understand? So I don't know which one is this very one. Let's check the contents, my dear listeners. This is Evening News. The members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Saturday today announced May 18th and 26th for a seat at home order ahead of the corpse outing of its detent leader, Mazin Namdekamo. The pro Biafran group, in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Poafo, said the decision on the seat at home in the southeast region as a form of solidarity with Kano to honor his court outings. The group also debunked a voice note message purported to have come from the group ordering the people in the region to continue with the Monday seat at home, saying it did, did not emanate from it. But from Nigerian security agents who were bent on demonizing the group, the statement reads. The attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafran Ipok, ably led by our great leader Mazen Mandekano, has been drawn to a purported voice note. Audrey Biafrans and residents of Biafran land to sit at home on a date other than May 18th today. This is the handwork of Nigerian paid agents and should be totally ignored. The statement reads, IPOP is not a faceless movement and does not announce its activities through voice messages. Biafrans must be a very much working through its security agencies. The DSS and the BBC is trying to so hard to create confusion in our land in its attempt to set Biafrans against themselves and scuttle our struggle for liberation. But we assure them that Biafran know their plans and will not fall for their evil agenda. Like Mazen Namdekano said, if you did not hear it on Radio Biafran, then it is not from IPOP. IPOP announces its activities and events only through official channels, which are Radio Biafra. Press statement from Ima Kwafu, Office of IPOP Media and Publicity Secretary and memo from the office of IPOP head of directorate. To this end, therefore, the only seat at home order emanating and announced by IPOP leadership are the 18th and 26th of May 2022, being the date our leader Mazin the Kanu will appear in court. Wow. My dear listeners, um, these two dates that was picked is the date the court fixed as an adjournment for Unam the Camus bill bill. You understand? So this are these are the two days that IPOP have decided to hold a seat at home. According to them they said they will want to use that day as an outing for Mazi Unam the Kanu as he goes in for his final verdict. Well, um, looking at this very content, the 
information sound genuine because from where the information is coming from is the uh, is the very source through which IPOP gets their informations. You understand? And any information gotten through that very source is a confirmed information. That is the Red Biafra and the other sources that have just been um, listed out. Listed out right now through the content. But be that as it may, I will tell you that the indigenous group are actually doing all this to make sure that now they can get a fair trial. Yes. To make sure you get a fair trial. See, let me tell you my listeners. Now the is already ahead of the Nigerian government. So I don't think there is anything to fear or be afraid of at all. Do you know that the UK Special Force are already in Nigeria because of this very trial? Today is 14th. You understand? So, uh, three days from now, I mean, no, four days from now, the trial will begin. The trial will begin. Three day, four days from now. So, that is to tell you that nothing, nothing is going to disrupt the Kamu's trial. Nothing is going to disrupt it. So if anybody is um, having any negative plan, because of the presence of the UK um, officials, um, military officials, they will change their plan. They will change their plan because they have no choice. Or do they want to compete with the UK Special Force? Mm -hmm. So, my dear listeners in the house, this is what we have on ground for this evening news. We look forward to hear from you, to know what you, the only thing on this that has just been taken off. of. Please don't forget your comments. They uh, are still very much important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.